It's your boy Mo signing on for Fresh Colorway. And today, we are gonna talk about three shoes I'm excited for in 2023. And I need you to join a Fresh Crew. How you join a Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I know that's right. Now be sure to tune in to our Facebook page at Fresh Colorway on Facebook. We go live every Wednesday evening, so make sure y'all tune in so y'all don't miss it. Now before we jump into the shoes that I'm most excited about in 2023, I gotta let the Fresh Crew know to go out to your JD Sports or Finish Line right now because they restocked on Panda Dunks. And I'm not talking about no small restock. I'm talking about a full size family run type restock. And it was crazy when I went to go pick mines up because they didn't have them out on the floor. One of the guys that I knew just pulled me to the side like, hey, you know they got pandas in there, but they took them off the shelf. So I went and asked one of the workers there and he was like, nah, we ain't got no pandas. I was like, all right, cool. So I went and asked the manager. The manager asked me what size I wanted and he was able to go back in the back and grab me a pair. My wife was with me, so she was able to grab a pair. But I think this is like a nationwide type restock. So if you haven't been out to your JD Sports and finish line here recently, make sure you go now and talk to one of the managers. Don't, don't talk to one of the associates on the floor because they liable to lie to you. But the manager going to get you together. So I would say go now. They did let me use a coupon so you were able to get these under retail. And they out in stores now. now also, when I was at, at JD Sports, they had these sitting too. The Jordan 2 Chicago. And it's crazy the disrespect that y'all put on these OGs. It seemed like all the OGs just sit. Now this is normal, but like, it's just wild to me that, you know, everybody, when it's pre-drop, they paying a ridiculous price for these. I seen people pay like five, six hundred dollars to get these early. Now they sitting, like, you know, you can pick these up for retail, and I'm not gonna be shocked if some of these go on sale. I'm talking about in men's size and grade school sizing. Now, granted, some of the bigger men's sizes were gone. And a lot of the OG sneaker heads, usually, are, you know, the old school fellas, usually got bigger feet, you know, bigger sizes. So those always sell out quicker. But, you know, size, I would say like eight through nine and a half, eight through 10, 10 and a half, was definitely sitting at the JD Sports I was by. So you might want to check them if you haven't grabbed these yet for retail. Just go out to your local store. They may have these on shelves. Now let's talk about these shoes in 2023 that I'm excited for. Now this list is in no particular order, but the first shoe on the list is the Jordan 3 White Seamens. Now if you've been on YouTube at all in the last, you know, week or month, you should see a lot of these are floating around. There's a lot of these out early in the streets. These are gonna be a highly mass produced shoe. You know, everybody gonna have a chance to get their hands on them. Sort of like the fire red threes. Like those are still sitting now. Like you could probably go to a sneaker store and get a men's size as well as a grade school size as we speak. Now I did have the version of the white C mist that released around 2011, 2012, but I sold those like shortly after I bought them. I didn't have them for that long. And these are very dope, and I like how they going with these reimagined type of type of series. You know, we got the Jordan One OG High Chicago reimagined. We kind of got the bread reimagined with the patent breads, but that's kind of forcing it into that category. I know they said later on this year we might be getting the black toe reimagined, so I just wonder if they gonna give us that special packaging. I know with a lot of these early pairs, I'm not questioning the legitimacy of nobody pairs, but you know, Jordan brand is known to switch up stuff at the last minute. And these are supposed to drop in like March, so we only got about two months before these come out. So I don't know if they could do any switching, you know, if it's a mass produced shoe, how it is. So I'm just excited to see these in hand. And when you take a look at the picture, they kind of yellowed out the midsole, gave it like that cell look, as well as that back tab. And if you got any old school Jordan 3s, you know this is exactly how I age. All those little plastic type parts gonna turn yellow. And you know, the leather usually stays pretty much in pristine shape as long as you take care of the shoe and wear it every now and then. But I can't wait to get these in hand. They threw the Nike Air on the back, and you know I'm an OG head, so I'ma love to see these. Now the next shoe on the list is definitely a must cop for me, and that's the Jordan 5 UNC. Now these UNC 5s are gonna be crazy. <laughs> I already know. Just how the UNC 4s went. When they dropped them all UNC 4s, I mean, it was crazy. The resale price was crazy when they dropped. I know the resale price even crazier now. I haven't looked at them in a while on StockX, but I looked maybe about you know, four or five months ago and it was around $400 in every shoe size. So 
I know these gonna go crazy too. They dropped the Jordan 5 Apples. They look like the Jordan 5 Oregon PEs. And those was kind of hard to get. They was very limited. And then when they dropped, like, the price kind of was a little high. You know, the retail price was $225. They was on a resale market for around $350 at the drop day. So I expect these maybe to perform kind of like that. But these are definitely a must cop for me. I want to have these in a collection. I like Jordan 5s myself. And this all UNC colorway is just real reminiscent to the 4s. So I think this is a good substitute if you don't have the other ones. But me, I kind of need both in the collection. So I'm definitely picking this one up. Now the last shoe on the list is a double up. It's definitely a double up approved. And that's the Jordan 1 OG High UNC toe. Now I kind of made up that word UNC toe. I don't know what we call it these just yet, but it got that, you know, bread toe type of color vibe. Same type of color blocking as the Taxi Jordan 1 OG High. I like that color blocking. I'm not a biggest fan of the black toe color blocking though when they have the white toe box. I really don't like that. I like to have a color inside the toe box, you know, with the black around the toe cap and the black on like the ankle, you know, the, the back panel of the shoe. So this is very dope to me. This is a double up. I doubled up on the taxis and the taxis ain't nowhere as, as nice as these. So this is definitely a double up. I expect this to be one of the shoes that really is in contention for Jordan one of the year. If we really get those black toes this year to reimagine, I guarantee that these two are probably gonna be neck and neck, you know, for the Jordan 1 of the year. This is one that if you pass on, you definitely gonna regret. But before we get out of here, I wanna hear from the Fresh Crew. Are y'all grabbing any one of these top three shoes I got on my list for 2023? Are y'all gonna let them all sit? Drop it down in the comment section below. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. How you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, Subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.